In the last video, you learned how to use HTML to change how text looks in a browser window. In this video, you will write new code to make the text appear in your pop-up message. First, make a variable to store the HTML tagging and coding. In computer science, a variable holds information for a program to use later. For example, if you created a program that kept track of how many people responded yes to a party invitation, the number of responses would be stored in a variable. If you are still in the HTML window of your script editor, return to the code.gs tab. After the left curly brace and before the code you wrote earlier, type var space html space and an equal sign. VAR makes any word that comes after it into a variable that holds information to use later. After the equal sign, type a space, then HTML service with a capital H and a capital S. Then type a period. This brings up the autocomplete menu, which shows different HTML settings and functions to choose from. Choose Create HTML Output from File from the list. Next, tell the create HTML output from file function which HTML file it should use to format the alert message. Type in opening message HTML dot HTML and place double quotation marks around it. Take a look at the code. You can read it like a sentence. In the variable HTML, create the text found in the file opening message HTML. Delete the word alert and the period in front of it from your original code. Then, after the parentheses, type a period to show the autocomplete menu. Scroll down and choose Show Modal Dialog. Inside the parentheses, replace the words User Interface with HTML. Then, replace the word title with a single space to remove the title text from the alert message. Save the code, then click the play button to see if it works. Click the research notes tab to view the message. There it is in big bold red type. That's the HTML formatting at work. Nicely done. If you get an error message when you run your code, it means something is missing or incorrect. Carefully check the code for open and close quotes and parentheses, capitalization and spacing. If it doesn't work the first few times you test it, don't worry. Keep tinkering until you get it right. Ask your neighbor for help if you get stuck. Now it's your turn. Create a variable called HTML. Tell the function to use opening message HTML in the alert. Run your code and check your document. <laughs> 